so there is this very interesting problem that this distinct na- neighbors this problem occurred in the code shift uh, starter 64 challenge the this states that in an array of size n into 2 we can choose any two elements and remove them and there is a empty array called b we can append the difference of those two elements okay the the difference of suppose if we take one and one then we will append for in b we will append zero and we'll delete these two ones after that we are left with two ones so again we will have to we are left with nothing else we have to uh, delete this to z ones and that becomes zero or we can do one thing just append the elements okay so it can be zero zero or zero one one uh, i i don't think i need to explain the whole thing because that is the question is a little bit complicated so if you get it it's okay so now let's talk about the logic the logic states that first we have to find what is the maximum frequency element okay what is the maximum frequency of an element that occurs in the array okay so let's say it is um, the maximum frequency is max okay so after we have found max so there are n minus max elements which are not equals to the this max elements okay like for this the max would be 1 1 so max will be 2 so n minus I mean n into 2 minus okay let's do one thing we will uh, multiply n with 2 before this so let's say n becomes 4 for this becomes 6 for this becomes 4 for this okay for our convenience so n minus max so 6 minus 2 that is 1 2 3 4 4 elements are not equals to 1 okay and 2 elements equals to 1 so now we know that max okay now what are the best methods so that we can exhaust all the backs all the elements belonging to the max okay that is we can choose any two ele- uh, two elements which makes the difference equals to zero or choose one element from here and any other element from the rest and make the difference equals to not equals to zero okay anything not equals to zero remember when we are going with not equals to zero well we don't need to check if there is a reputation because if it's not equals to zero we can even write one as minus one so that doesn't matter okay so the main thing is zero zero case that is how many times we can pair the, the same elements of the maximum frequency <laughs> so it will be uh, how many times it will be the maximum number of times we can uh, reduce that we can pair this up would be n minus max plus one <coughs> okay plus one this will be the n- maximum number of because n minus max times we are going to pair it up with uh, this elements okay the elements and let's say if you know permutation combination like if this is n minus n minus max so we can put values in n minus max plus two right ways so this number of ways we can pair it up so that makes this into two elements we can exhaust plus we can exhaust n minus max elements okay that is we are pairing up n minus max of this max frequency with n minus max and the rest n minus max plus one we are pairing it with itself so if this thing is greater than max then we can say we uh, it's yes else it's no okay i think this is a little bit difficult for you to understand let me discuss right away with the code so the code would be you will be using a hash map and check which is the maximum frequency occurring okay i hope you know this thing hash map or uh, there are various other ways to find out the frequency that is sort the array but i don't know whether that thing would be accepted because it increases the time complexity so find out the maximum frequency okay maximum frequency of occurrence for this it will be four for this it will be two for this again it will be two because two occurs two times one occurs two times so the maximum is two one occurs two times two occurs two times three occurs two times so maximum is two one occurs four times the maximum is four okay you get it so you get max and improvise max as max minus 
equals to n minus max plus n minus max plus 1 into 2 this thing okay now since I said that this should be greater than max so if max is greater than 0 that is this is not greater than this then we will print no okay this thing else we can print yes okay so first this thing that is the maximum frequency you have to find it using the hash map that is max and then this simple thing this simple formula is going to make it is going to make the whole problem very easy so this is uh, my part um, that's what i did thank you